live to Raps on TV here at the NEC in Birmingham for the uh, Body Power Expedition. Fortunate to be joined by Wall. Uh, Wall, well, I had a small egg. You introduced yourself, <laughs> brother. Uh, talk to me, uh, uh, Wall, about uh, sort of what your involvement here, obviously representing the uh, Maxi Muscle brand. That's your experience, obviously, in the industry. Yeah. Just give me an insight into what brings so you So, my name is Wally Adesamoye. I've been a sponsored athlete for the last decade with Maxi Muscle, as it's known. Uh, my background is boxing. So, I spent 10 years boxing at an amateur level for most of my career. Uh, had over 30 bouts, fights, for those of you that are out there. Uh, 25 wins and 5 losses and my biggest achievement was getting to the ABA final in London final uh, in 2011 also getting to the nationwide novice final in 2010 um, where I, I, I unfortunately lost my experience within the industry I now compete as a competitive muscle model you know I'm the current WBFF muscle model world champion so whoop, <laughs> M, M's the big guns, but yeah, um, my experience within the industry, like I say, is I love it for what it is, you know, social media is key now, so it's important that, you know, you get to meet those that follow you on the social platform, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to name it, you get to meet the fans, they put a face to the name, you know, you give people some advice, you see some great physique here, that you give some encouragement to, to maybe get on stage or do something with themselves. Because everybody's looking for that inspiration, that motivation to do something. Maxi Muscle as a brand has changed. Um, you know, they've changed the new products, they've got a plant-based product. A lot of people turned away from dairy, so try that plant-based product. A lot of the stuff now is more natural fruit that they're putting in their products. But the best advice I can give to someone who wants to get into the industry it's just be yourself. Yeah. Love what you do. If you're a boxer, love boxing. Train hard, fight, fight, fight easy, as they say. Train hard, fight easy. Um, I love what I do. I'm also a London firefighter. I have been a firefighter for the last 20 years. You know, a very busy man. You know, I have a full-time job. I have to train. I have a busy girlfriend, which is right over there looking at me, staring at me over there. But yeah, it's just all part of the, 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 the best thing that's got me through everything that I've done. Yeah. Keep smiling and genuinely love what you do from the bottom of your heart. Yeah. Well, uh, facilitating that transition from the boxing to a very reputable uh, amateur career. Yeah. Now, obviously, WBSS, uh, bodybuilding champion. Yeah. What uh, made that transition for you? Why did you decide to turn So, I, I was left with no choice in 2012. You know, I boxed at a, a well known amateur club, Del U from London. The likes of James Miguel, George Groves. You know, you know all those names now, but they were my sparring partners. Um, but I had a fractured eye socket in 2012, sparring. Uh, just sparring. I fractured my eye socket, had two eye operations, and when I sat there with a surgeon in 2012, and the surgeon told me that you've got an option here, there's a possibility you might be blind in one eye for life. I sat there and I looked at it and I thought, what is this all about? You know, I know there's a lot of boxes out there that have had attached, attached rectal, fractured eye sockets and they've continued with their career. But for me, it was a calling card to change what I was doing. And what I'm doing now, I'm less likely to get hurt. No one's going to hit me on stage. Obviously, touched on those fighters, Jason Miguel, retired now. Retired now. Yeah. And, uh, I guess, what's your perspective on the 
I want to see the top three fighters fight one another. And to me, the top three fighters in the world right now is Andy Joshua, Deontay Wilder, and Tyson Fury. Yes, Deont De 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 Deontay Wilder, he got beaten by Tyson Fury, let's be honest. He lost that fight. You know, if anyone told me he didn't lose that fight, I don't know what you was watching. He lost the fight to Tyson Fury. So what I would like to see is Deontay Wilder either fight Andy Joshua, stop talking crap, fight Andy Joshua, or Andy Joshua fight Tyson Fury. Let's get it on. Boxing's all about back in the 90s when the heavyweight division was the glamour division. You know, you had the likes of, you know, Riddick Bowe, you had like the Mike Tyson, Evander Olyfield, Frank Bruno. I mean, the list goes on. What what needs to be replicated now is exactly what was replicated back then in the seventies when all the top fighters fought one another. There was no one that didn't fight one another. You know, all the best of the best fought one another. To be the best, you must beat the best. So I think a lot of people now are dodging one another in boxing and it's not great for the sport. It's not great for the fans. What is great is great fights. You know, to see the best fight the best. And I think what a lot of it as well is a lot to do with politics now. So promoters are having more say than the actual boxer or the fighter themselves. You know, the, bo the boxer may want to fight the fighter. But the, the, you know, Andy Josh is saying, I want De Deontay Wilder. You know, Ernie Earl Ernie might be sitting there saying, nah, mate, not now. Let's make a few more mils, then we'll fight him. Yeah. I mean, so, a lot of uh, money being drawn into it. That's it. Also, the divisions between TV stations, broadcasters. Obviously, when you heard a mantra about having invested a lot of money into Mantra of USA. Yeah. Um, there's own platform, another streaming service for these boxers to kind of uh, compete at the elite level. Uh, many shows in the US, uh, Demetrius Andrade uh, defended his WBO title soon. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders was supposedly speculated to sign with the zone, didn't So we've got a lot of different fighters in and around the uh, different weight categories. And the top of the pecking order, Joshua Wilder. Who do you see coming out on top of that fight? Man, I'm Nigerian. I love Andy Joshua. I love to see him win. But at the same time, I think the two styles are very different. It's anyone's fight, honestly. But who would I like to see win? Andy Joshua. Just lastly, before I let you go, obviously here's the expedition. Yeah. A lot of new products out there, a different kind of range of products, different proteins, different whey proteins, uh, supplements. As an athlete uh, from boxing to weightlifting and uh, bodybuilding, yeah. what would be your best word of advice to someone coming up through the ranks that wants to make that transition from the sport to another sport? And so, so if you want to make the transition from one sport to another, is do your research first and foremost and be specific in the sport that you want to move to. So if you want to move from boxing to like bodybuilding and you want to add supplements into that, do your research. I can tell you anything about Max that's positive, but don't just believe me. Do your own research. Maybe buy the product, read what's on the packaging, research about the sports that you want to move into and move forward that way. Yeah, obviously there's a lot of kind of problems at the moment in sport. Obviously, Jarrell Big Baby Miller uh, yeah. made a drugs test because of the kind of, I suppose, ignorance towards certain substances that he wasn't particularly aware of. You've obviously touched on there about the research element, yeah. and that it's still in camp. Obviously, Anthony Joshua is tested uh, regularly yeah. with uh, Varda and Wada and you can on a 24 7 basis. Yeah. How much of an impediment is having drug uh, substances that haven't potentially been sort of narrowed down the guidelines with these regulatory bodies? I mean, it's very difficult in the sense that the drugs in all sports, unfortunately, there's going to be an element of drugs in it. There's an element of drugs in golf, there's an element of drugs in baseball, there's an element of drugs in American football, an element of drugs in basketball, there's an element in rugby, there's an element in, 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 in football. So unfortunately, there's going to be an element. But all I can say is, if you're going to play by the sword, you're going to die by the sword. If you're going to take the shit, you're going to get tested positive for it. And it's bullshit you don't know what's in your you're taking. Come on, I'm a, I'm an amateur level athlete to a certain degree, and I know everything that I'm taking because I do my research. 
So it's negligent that you're a pro athlete and then you're telling me that you don't know what's in what you're taking. That is just ignorance. Sorry. No, no, it makes no difference. <laughs> I can't reiterate enough that if you're going to be at an elite level of sport, you need to have the right team behind you. So you need to have the right advice when it comes to nutrition. You need to have the right advice when it comes to rehab. So physiotherapy if needed. You need to have the right advice when it comes to supplements. So if you're going to be taking supplements, know what you're taking. If you need a doctor to tell you, you should be regularly testing yourself to make sure you won't fail a drug test. You know, you've got all that money invested in you as an athlete, so why can't you spend it on yourself and utilise it to kind of protect yourself against things like this happening? Yeah. Wally, I appreciate you giving us some time. No problem, no problem. Uh, you, brother. Uh, do you want to shout out your social media? Yeah, so my social media is Wally Moye. I'll spell that for you because it's a bit of a mouthful. It's W-O-L-E. And my second name is A-D-E-S-E-M-O-Y-E. All one word. It's at, it's at, at my name on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook. I'm just WBFF Muscle Water Pro, Wale Addison Thank you very much, guys. Also, shout out to Maxi Muscle and also shout out to uh, Body Power Expo for the event. Big shout out to my sponsors that have been behind me for the last decade Maxi Muscle, nothing but love. Body Power Expo, you guys always put on the show. Yeah, no problem. Take care, no problem.